Welcome to Limo No Lent once again. Today's text is from Lamentations chapter 3, verses 22 to 30. That's the very middle of this text. This um, pretty horrible text, really. It's about a siege uh, and all the horrible things that happened during a siege. So if you want to read about that, read the book of Lamentations um, as the Babylonians are surrounding Jerusalem. And then in the very middle of it is this beautiful text about um, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. And then it goes back to kind of some horrible things that happened during war. Um, but in this middle part, I've always interpreted it as like, we hold on to hope and faith in the middle of a difficult time. And I think that is a very faithful reading of it. It's something that has gotten me through difficult times in my life that great is thy faithfulness. That's one of my, those hymns that I go to and sing to myself when I need to remember, okay, God is faithful, God is faithful, God is faithful. Even though it doesn't seem like it, God is faithful. <laughs> um, even though my life is in chaos or I'm mourning or grieving or struggling, God is faithful in the midst of this. Um, even in the midst of something as horrible as a war, God is faithful. But there's also an interesting little way to think about this too, um, that in the midst of a lament, we use our promises from God and says, God, you are faithful. So let's see it. <laughs> you are, your steadfast love endures forever. You are faithful. Come and um, shine your face on us. Um, do not turn away from us, but redirect towards us. So with that, I kind of have a fun little parable from this. Our book here is um, a Jewish teaching story. A long time ago, there was a master archer who began to search the land for an archer of even greater talent so that he might study, learn, and improve his craft. After many months of walking through forests, meadows, and towns, he came upon a tree with an arrow in the exact middle of the painted target drawn on a tree. He became curious as he walked on and saw another tree with a perfectly centered bullseye. Soon he saw more and more trees that displayed straight arrows perfectly centered within the round targets. Perfect bullseyes peppered the forest. Suddenly, he entered a clearing and looked up and saw a barn with row after row of perfect bullseyes. He knew he had found his mentor. He began asking everyone he saw on the road, whose barn is that that displays so many perfectly centered ar arrows? The people told him how to find the man who owned the barn. When he found this man, he saw that he was a simple man, slow of speech and seemingly awkward in his movements. Unperturbed, he asked the man to share his secrets. How do you do it, he asked. The man explained, anyone can. After I shoot the arrow, I take some paint and draw a target around the arrow. <laughs> I love this. So for one thing, like in the midst of suffering and pain, we are, we are shooting maybe over here. And where our arrow is landing is here. And we're not going to get over there. That's not what our call is right now. That's not where we are right now. We are here. And draw, have that, draw that circle around right here and say, God, I need you here. And God will say, yes, I'm with you here. So where are you shooting for? Where is your hope being placed? And just maybe... God has drawn that bullseye around right where you are today. And that is good news, not just bad aim. <laughs> it's good news that God has found you here. Thanks be to God. Amen.